Hello and welcome back for a new mobile app review. Today we're looking at Inspectia Munchi, Labor Inspection. We go to the App Store or Google Play and we type in Inspectia Munchi. Already see it uh, here. Let's um, check it out first. It's um, on position 11 in utilities. Let's see who else is there. Looks legitimate enough. Let's move back. It's already got uh, one 5 star rating. Let's check out the version history. It has been uh, initially published uh, six months ago with uh, minor changes and afterwards and a recent update. Let's see what the update is about. The functions of uh, this app, the Inspectia Munchi, are to um, access the day workers uh, registry split per days to manage the contacts of the day workers by either taking a photo of their ID or by manually typing in their data and to use um, the day workers uh, register when and if uh, needed. There's also a warning here that paper is still uh, used for the moment though. There is an um, iPad uh, tablet version. Take into account the increased real estate on the tablet. Let's see um, about the developer. There's only this specific app, developed and issued by Inspectia Munchi. Let's see about the level of uh, support for the app. It takes us to the website inspectiamunchi.ro, which also offers the background that starting with the day of 25th of July 2020, the beneficiaries have the obligation to maintain the evidence of the day workers in the electronic register for the evidence of day workers. The size of the app should fit uh, all the current uh, smartphones. In terms of compatibility, it's backwards compatible all the way uh, to uh, iOS 9. The language chosen appears to be uh, English, although the text in the description uh, is in uh, Romanian. Copyright is with the website www.inspectiamunci.ro. Let's check the link as well to the developer website. It works well. Let's also check on the privacy policy. It takes us to the same uh, web page. So let's give it a go and download the app. See how it goes.
in a short couple of seconds. The app is downloaded, so let's open it up. First, we have a pop-up asking us uh, if we would like to accept notifications. Let's click on Allow. And we're taking to a Terms and Conditions uh, page. Which is meant to fully and correctly inform all the users of the uh, app. In terms of confidentiality policy, the reference is to GDPR. In terms of description of the app, it's a well laid out description, which spells out the scope, which is the possibility to electronically send the evidence register of day workers. Data, a thing to keep into uh, mind, is stored locally on the phone only for 31 days. There is a disclaimer about the unilateral right of Inspectia Munci to change at any time the terms and conditions of using uh, this app. Also, in terms of intellectual property, Inspectia Munci maintains its IP on the app, on its components, on the graphics, as well as on the content. And uh, the user understands that it has no right on it, except for the limited right to install and use the app according to the terms and conditions. In terms of responsibility, the user is responsible to protect the password. And the warning at the end related to the distancing of Inspectia Munci from any kind of uh, IT virus which may affect the device where the app is installed. Let's click on Accept. And we're taken to a best practice introductory tutorial, which is composed of a couple of uh, sliding uh, windows with the option to skip. The first one is a welcome page, which lists the scope of the app. It uh, presents on the second window the uh, authentication, authorization and config page where all of the uh, data are mandatory and uh, the uh, information is saved locally on the phone which means it is not uh, connected to a centralized server meaning any type of change on the phone remains local There's also a description of the adding a day worker page. The window is called uh, contacts. And the options of getting data in the app are either manually filling in data, either scanning an ID, or importing contacts. With the import on a typical structure, family name, first name, nationality, and identification number. There is a very useful function, scanning ID and then 
doing the optical character recognition, which allows the easy importing of data in the app. Of course, it's going to have to be uh, checked afterwards for uh, correctness. There are more ways in which the register may be done by either importing data from contacts, by either importing them from the previous register, or manual uh, filling in of data. For each successful uh, upload of data, there is a confirmation of uh, receipt. Also, a very useful settings and support page where we can uh, set the parameters for reporting day workers, edit profile, view the instruction manual, and email the support team. With this, let's begin.